In this video, I'll tell you how as a friend or even a stranger, you can help someone with anxiety, or at least not worsen their mood. One, stay calm, AKA relax. Let's say that your roommate has been looking for a job for some time, and this evening he is very worried that he will be unemployed forever. It is understandable to want to calm down the situation with a sentence like calm down, but the problem is that when someone is anxious, it is very, very difficult to calm down. During anxiety, the sympathetic nervous system is activated, which is also called the fight or flight response. This nervous system increases the heart rate and breathing rate and increases the level of adrenaline in the blood. A person whose fight or flight mechanisms are activated in his body cannot stay calm. By saying calm down, especially as a first word, we not only calm the person down, but also show that we don't understand their situation at all. What to say instead? Instead of saying calm down, you can ask open-ended questions in a calm tone. For example, what are you thinking about? Or if he says what he's thinking about, you can follow up by asking, what kind of job would you like to get? Where did you look for a job? Asking such questions shows that the person's problem is important to you, and it helps the person to calm down little by little and check the facts. Note, social relations are not like math. The same word has different effects on different people. These effects completely depend on the type and background of your relationship with the person, the situation, the psychological condition of you and the person at the moment, and other influential factors. Two, take it easy, AKA doesn't matter. It's okay, everything will be all right. An anxious person currently believes that his problem is something important and not okay at all. By the way, how are you sure that everything will be all right? Let's say your friend has a fight with her boyfriend and is worried that their relationship will break apart. Under normal circumstances, you may say that it's okay and these things are normal in your relationship and your friend will accept what you say. But if your friend is really anxious at the moment or their fight has seriously hurt her feelings, saying these words is not only useless, but your friend will probably come to the conclusion that you don't understand her at all. What to say instead? Choose words or actions that show you have empathy with the person and understand how difficult their situation is. In addition, you can ask open questions. For example, what were your fights about? Where did it end? It is important that both you and your friend know that asking these questions is not to interrogate or give advice, and your goal is to better understand them. This is determined by listening with interest and without judgment. Three, yay, me too. Sometimes showing that we have had a similar experience quickly creates a feeling of sympathy, but outbidding the other person or ignoring their problem by pointing toward our own problem gives a feeling of not being understood. What should we do instead? For now, focus on the other person. Be a good listener and show empathy. Save your problems for another occasion. It is true that emotional support in a relationship should be two-way, but the time and place to raise them is important. In the middle of the other person's anxiety attack, it is not a good time to open the table of our hearts. If you liked this video, subscribe for more videos on mental health.